Okay, good morning students. This is Thursday, April 23rd. Uh, today, this is Thursday, so you have a review to do, review number 16. Uh, this will be your only assignment for uh, the next two days. Once you finish review 16, you're finished until Monday. Uh, review 16 is due by 10 o'clock Friday night. If you don't want to have to do anything for me tomorrow, then let's just get it done today. I do want to show some people something, though. Uh, I did have a f total of 14 strawberries as of uh, 5 o'clock yesterday. And that's what doesn't make much sense to me because according to YouTube, I only had 8 people watch the video. I'm thinking there must be a problem with YouTube because I don't think there can be just 8 people watching the video and me receiving 14 strawberries. Now, you folks that are sitting there wondering what Mr. Craig is talking about strawberries, well, I ain't going to tell you. Those folks who know what I'm talking about, thank you very much for participating. All right, today's assignment is Review 16. I will tell you, boy, I hope you're watching this video, question number two on today's assignment did not print up correctly. I gave you, I told you right here, question number two did not print up correctly. The answer to number two is G. So I'm already giving you one answer before we get started. Go ahead and get it open so that you can write on it. I'm having way too many people just circling answers without showing me work. I want to be able to see some work out here on the outside. Okay. You have a bar graph. Number two says the table shows the number of laps in a swimming pool that people of different ages were able to complete, but they don't give us a chart to match a graph to. So that's why I'm telling you the right answer should be G. Number three is a stem and leaf plot. Number four is a scatter plot. Number five is a bar graph. Number six is another bar graph. Uh, number seven, we need to fi figure out a missing number, so read your information carefully, and then you're going to have to do something with that missing number. Number eight, you're either going to have to choose one of two different bar graphs or one of two different frequency tables. You're, it's only one answer choice. Figure out which one of these matches the chart. Another stem and leaf plot, and then you have a dot plot. Just 10 questions. That's all you have to do for me today. After you have fit, uh, circled your final answer, you need to do what you should be doing every single time, and that's checking your answer. Now, I'm starting to collect addresses. That way I can I, I know for a fact if you are turning this in or not. Get back into the Classwork tab. Review 16, Review 16 Answer Sheet on Google Forms. Email address, well this is mine. Uh, you need to type in your childressisd.net. It is required. You can't submit the form without your email address there. And then just start answering the questions. I already know number two is G. And then I'm just going to start clicking the last one in each row just so that I can get down to the submit button and I'm going to submit. View accuracy. Now I know number one is not correct. That's why there's an X and that's why it's red. Number two is correct. It's answer G. Now if you're getting something wrong I have a hint for you to take a look at. Use that hint to go back and fix the question. We know number one is not going to be D. So if you chose D, erase it and let's choose something else. Once you have all of your wrong answers fixed, go back to that answer sheet and this time edit your response. Instead of choosing D, I might want to choose A. Fix all of the answers that need to be fixed, and then submit one more time. 
You folks need to keep doing that until you know everything is correct before you send me review 16. Okay, that's the only assignment you have for the rest of this week. Review 16. Uh, I'm going to be checking to see if your address shows up. That way I know if you're turning this in also. And please watch the videos. Sometimes I have some important stuff to say, believe it or not. And if you're not watching the videos, you're not hearing what I got to say. All right. Have a good day.